Hello everyone, we're going to make a pot roast for tonight. It's going to be very savory and juicy. These are all of the ingredients that you're going to need and we're going to start by adding all of the seasoning together and then rubbing it on top of the pot roast. You may cut the pot roast so it could fit in your crock pot um, and then you may want to wash and cut all of your other vegetables like the potatoes and the onions and everything else. You're going to place everything one on top of the other like if it was a layer and then you're gonna add the broth and you're just gonna let it cook. Let it cook like magic for between six and eight hours um, and then you try and check it from time to time to make sure that you're mixing it all up but the smell the flavor it is just unbelievable if you follow the recipe as well as i did then everything will be perfect so you're welcome to do the meal prep if you want to or you can eat it all at once <laughs> um, there is a little bonus that i have which is making rice with the same seasoning and the same juices from the crock pot all I do is add more water, add the rice, and pretty much cook it. I love the flavor. Um, if you don't want it, you can just dump it out or use it as a, as a gravy for mashed potatoes. But whatever choice you decide to do will be excellent. Um, I like to eat my crock pot in three different stages. First with the vegetables that it comes with. Then I do the rice. And then I like to try with the mashed potatoes. So, whichever way you decide, there's no wrong or right answer. Just go for it and try it and let me know how you like it. Thank you.